Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube. Uh, on this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step instruction on how to use action settings in your PowerPoint presentation. Uh, let's take an example. Uh, you're giving a presentation uh, to your audience and in between the uh, presentation, you want to start a program maybe, you know, probably you want to uh, run a word program. So it doesn't look good, um, you know, exit the slide and then go to the start and then try to open word. Or maybe you want to play a video, uh, not the one which is embedded. Maybe you have saved the video in a different location and you want to play that particular video during that particular uh, presentation right uh, um, uh, probably it, it's not that uh, it's not a good presenter skill to exit the presentation and then go back to the start and look for the video so uh, let's find an easier way how to play a video during the presentation or maybe how to run a program uh, during um, during your presentation you want to give a demonstration or maybe you want to show a particular uh, step in a particular in a word program uh, in between your presentation so this is the video is all about so now if you like this video make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so let's start uh, let's open a presentation this is the um, for the demonstration purpose I'm uh, using this particular slide so uh, on on the third slide what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, you know a, play a video uh, I'm going to just let's give an example. I'm going to slide start this presentation. Uh, so this is how it go. So I'm going to exit it. And on my third slide, what I want to do is I want to play a video um, for a demonstration. I'm going to take this video. You can add any video of your choice. So what I need to do is um, I need to go to insert button from the ribbon and click on action settings. Okay. So what this do is you're assigning an action. Uh, so by a click so these are the different options what you see here uh, now it's not necessarily that it has to be on a mouse click it can be on a mouse hover as well so I'm going to uh, for the for the dom uh, for this particular video I'm going to select mouse click because that would uh, give you a better understanding once you make uh, you know uh, try it by yourself you can try different option how it works on a mouse hover as well how it works is when you hover your mouse over that particular picture of uh, the mobile phone um, you can start playing a video so on this uh, you need to click on the mouse click and click on run a program now not necessarily that it, it is only f to run a program you can select uh, you can select the slide you can um, navigate to a different slide or end of the show you don't want to continue your presentation uh, you can click on uh, end of the show or maybe i can select last slide view okay so i'm going to select run a program so in this case i'm going to play a video so ideally uh, when you select a run a program you would see um, exe file so instead uh, let's say you want to start a word then you will have to select word winword.exe so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, let me also walk you through Word. OK, um, so let's go to program files here from the drop down menu. I'm going to select uh, C colon and go to program files x86. Go to Microsoft Office office 14 oh my bad um, it would be under program file uh, x86 because i have uh, installed 32 bit of uh, office not the 64 bit so ideally um, you would find all the um, microsoft uh, office application in the program files x86 if you have installed a 32 bit of office on your computer okay so let me navigate to microsoft office go to office 14 and look for winword okay so this is winword.exe is what you need to select winword.exe is the technical name for word document or word program so i'm going to click on okay and click on okay all right so i'm going to um, go to my slideshow i'm going to press f5 shift f5 that will uh, play the slide the current it will play the current slide so i'm going to press shift f5 this is how my slide would look now what i want to do is i'm going to i want to open a word program so i'm going to click on that you can click on enable 
so that will open up word 2010 okay so this is how you can once you have given demonstration of a uh, word you can close that and you can continue with your presentation now let me also walk you through how to how to uh, play a video on a particular slide okay so i have a picture here a beautiful picture of a cake uh, which looks yummy so uh, for this picture what i want to do is i want to play a video so what i do it i would go ahead and select the picture and highlight the picture um, altogether only the picture it's not necessary that it has to be a picture you can select the text as well okay you can select the action settings for the text as well so in this for the demonstration like I said I'm going to select the picture so that it becomes easier for you all to understand how it really works so I'm going to click on action and click on run a program what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse to the location where I have uh, saved all my videos that would be on my desktop here and uh, I'm going to select draft and um, uh, this is my another channel by the way you can uh, also view this channel uh, this is more about uh, inspiration motivation um, I hope you would love this channel as well so I'm going to select uh, the completed and from the drop down menu uh, i'm going to select all files so that the video gets displayed since it is an mp4 video i'm going to select that video and click on ok click on ok again so let me take you to the um, previous slide here so press shift f5 i want to go to the next slide that's where i have select the action to play a video so i'm going to select this and this should open up the video I hope uh, the steps what I have given is useful for you guys. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel and also like this video. And um, also view my another channel which I have recently started which is Everything That Matters. It's more about the inspiration codes. Uh, and it's more, it's raw editing. It's no voice on those videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.